Hello children, in this lesson we shall learn how to do decimal division that is dividing a numbers which are having decimal points. Let's take some examples. Let's say we want to make some yummy things from milk and you have 2.5 liters of milk. 1 liter plus 1 liter plus 500 milliliter that is 2.5 milliliters of milk and you want to make different yummy things from the milk butter, kheer, ice creams and to make that you need to divide this 2.5 liters of milk into 5 equal parts to make these different things so how much each part will have how many milliliters of milk? How do we do it? You have 2.5 milliliters of milk and you want to divide into 5 equal parts. So how much milk will be there in each part? Let's try to find out. We are going to use division for it. And how we are going to do it? We write 2.5 divided by 5. So remember, just like we learned in decimal addition, decimal subtraction, decimal multiplication, we performed first step as if we were working in whole numbers, ignoring the decimal point. So what we are going to do, we are going to first do 25 divided by 5. We remove the decimal point. We will take care of decimal point in the result in the second step. So let's do it. We do 25 divided by 5 we know that is very simple when you are dealing with whole numbers 5 5 is 25 25 minus 25 0 so the answer is 5 right but what about decimal point where are we going to put the decimal point in the result let's try to find out there is one decimal place in the dividend so the quotient would also have one decimal place so in the dividend there is one decimal place that is the, the decimal point is here and there is one digit following the decimal point so the result is also going to have one decimal point so we did 25 divided by 5 and we got 5 so we add a decimal point here so that there is one decimal point in the result that is the quotient so the answer is 0 0.5 that is we are going to have 0 0.5 liters in each part if we divide 2.5 liters of milk into 5 equal parts 2.5 liter of milk divided into 5 parts is equal to 0 0.5 liters and how did we calculate it we did first 25 divided by 5 we got 5 and then we put a decimal point in the result that is the quotient at a place equal to the dividends so there are same number of decimal places in dividend as well as quotient make sense let's take another example let's say Aman bought six candies at 4.50 rupees so what is the cost of each candy how we are going to do? We are going to do 4.50 divided by 6. Let's do it. 4.50 divided by 6, as we saw, what we are going to do first thing, we are going to do it as if it's whole numbers. So we are going to do 450 divided by 6. So let's do it. 450 divided by 6, so 6 sevens are 42, 45 minus 42, 3. 0 comes down 30 now 6 5s are 30 30 minus 30 0 we stop here so the result of the first step is 75 and what we are going to do now in the second step we are going to add the decimal point in the result so the result is also going to have the same number of decimal points like the dividend so it's going to have two decimal points here there were two decimal points two digits after the decimal point so here 75 will become 0.75 there should be two digits in the decimal point also so 4.50 rupees is the cost of six candies 
सो एवरी कैंडी कॉस्ट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव रुपीज और इन अदर वर्ड सेवेंटी फाइव पैसा एक्सेंस इट्स वेरी सिंपल फर्स्ट रिमूव द डेसिमल पॉइंट डू द डिविजन एंड देन एट द डेसिमल पॉइंट इक्वल टू द सेम नंबर ऑफ डेसिमल प्लेसेस एज द डिविडेंट बट देर इज अ चैलेंज वॉट इफ डिवाइजर इज ऑल्सो हैविंग अ डेसिमल पॉइंट Now this is tricky. How do we are going to do it? It's simple. I told you always, maths is simple. We know that by multiplying any decimal point by tens or hundreds, we can make it a whole number. Like point one two multiplied by ten is one point two, or point one two multiplied by hundred is twelve. That is, how many zeros you add on? How many times you multiply? The decimal point moves to the right by that many things. So by multiplying a decimal number by tens, hundred, thousand, we can make it a whole number. Let's take an example. We need to do three point seven two divided by one point two, and we know the simplest way to do it is if the divisor doesn't have a decimal point. So we need to convert the divisor to a whole number. And how we are going to do it? We are going to multiply the numerator as well as the denominator by the same number, such that this number becomes a whole number. So, how do we make one point two as a whole number? We need to multiply by ten or hundred or thousand. Very simple. How many units are there? How many digits are there after the decimal point? One digit. So, if we multiply it by ten, both in the numerator. as well as in the denominator so any any number multiply any fraction or multiply by numerator and denominator by the same number is same thing right so we can do 3.72 multiply by 10 and 1.2 also multiply by 10 that is same as 3.72 divided by 1.2 right we are multiplying the same number in numerator and the denominator and why did we choose 10 because by choosing 10 1.2 became 12 you add 10 to it so the decimal point moves here so it's 12.0 or 12 now the divisor has no decimal point and remember the numerator or the dividend also has changed by 3.72 multiplied by 10 is you move the decimal point to the right so it became 37.2 so now you have to divide 37.2 divided by 12 That's a simpler problem that we learned in the first step. How we are going to do it? First, do it like a whole number. The denominator or the divisor doesn't have a decimal number, so first we are going to do 372 divided by 12. Step one. So let's do it. 372 divided by 12. It's like a two-digit division. 12 threes are 36. One, one, two. 12 ones are 12. So, so the answer of the first step is 31. and then what do we do in the second step we add the decimal point in the answer at a place which is same as the numerator right the dividend so it's having one decimal point that is one digit after the decimal point the same thing we do it in the quotient we got the answer as 31 in the first step so we are going to put make it 3.1 so that number of decimal points are same so the answer of 3.7 Two divided by one point two is three point one. And how did we do three point one? We first multiplied the denominator and the numerator by tens, so that the denominator, that is the divisor, becomes a whole number. And why did we choose ten? Because one point two had one decimal place. So as soon as you multiply it by ten, it became twelve. And so we multiply both of them by ten. So 3.72 became 37.2, and 1.2 became 12. And then we did a simple division, like a whole number, 372 divided by 12. We got 31. And then we put the decimal point in the result at the same place as the dividend. Right? Isn't it simple? So by multiplying the divisor by 10, 100, 1000, etc., we can make it a whole number. Right? 
So for example here the divisor is having three decimal points. By what we are going to multiply? We are going to multiply by 1000 because 1000 has three zeros. So 0 0.005 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 5. That makes the divisor whole number. So 1.25 divided by 0 0.005 first step make the divisor as whole number. How we are going to do? Multiply by 1000 because there are three digits after the decimal point. So we multiply by 1000 in the numerator as well as the denominator. So 1.25 became how much? If we multiply 1.25 by 1000, what is going to happen? 1.25 only has two digits. You are going to multiply by 1000. So what is going to happen? We just need to do is add a zero here. 1.25 or 1.250 is same. So what we do is we add a zero here and now we can multiply easily 1.250 multiply by 1000 is nothing but it's equal to 1250 point. So the decimal point moved to the right by three places. So it became 1250. Okay. A number has lesser number of digits. We add a zero after it and then we multiply it. So 1 to 5 0 divided by 5 we are going to do it without the decimal point. Just do 5 to the 10. 2 is the subtraction the value here. Now we take the 5 down. 5 5 is the 25. 25 minus 25 0. 0 comes down 0. 0 is add, added in the quotient here. So the final thing is 0. It's 250. Right? And because there was no decimal point in the dividend, there won't be any decimal point in the quotient. So the final answer is 250. So making divisor a whole number. Basically it's all about just finding it out how many decimal points we need to move to the right. That many number of zeros you need to add. So take another problem. 13.31 divided by 0 0.011. We need to make move this decimal point three places so we are going to multiply by thousand both the numerator and the denominator right so here we multiply with denominator by thousand and same thing in the numerator and numerator we know is not having two digits three digits after it so we just add zero after it so 13.31 multiply by 1000 is nothing but 13.31 multi <coughs> multiply by 1000 that is 13310. We had 0 here and then we multiply by 1000 so the decimal point moved by 3 places 1, 2, 3. So the numerator became 13310 and the denominator is also multiplied by 1000 so it be also the decimal point moved by 3 places so that became 11. Make sense? So this is like an equivalent fraction. So 13.31 divided by 0 0.011 is same as 13310 divided by 11. Now the divisor has no decimal point. We can do a very simple division here. Right? Most important thing is we need to move the decimal point by multiplying by a number such a way that the divisor, the denominator becomes a whole number. And whatever we multiply, whether it is 10, 100 or 1000, we need to do the same multiplication in numerator as well as denominator. So now the problem has become very simple. All we need to do is we need to do 13310 divided by 11. So we write 13310 like this, divide by 11, 11 ones are 11, to subtraction 13 minus 11 is 2, take 3 down, 23, 11 to the 22, 23 minus 22 is 1, then we add this one down, 11 ones are 11, it becomes 0, we get this 0 down, 11 zeros are 0. So finally there is a 0. So the final answer is 1 to 1 0. So it's pretty simple, if we need to divide numbers with decimal points, first make the divisor a whole number if it is not a whole number and how do we do it we just multiply it by either 10 or 100 or 1000 by numerator and denominator in such a way that the denominator that is the divisor becomes a whole number here there is one 
place after the decimal point so we multiply it by 10 10 has 1 0 right so we multiply by the numerator and denominator by 10 so here in numerator the decimal point moves by one point so it becomes 37.2 denominator decimal point moves by one place it becomes a whole number 12 the second step we do the division as if there is no decimal point 372 divided by 12 we get the answer 31 and then in the final answer we put the decimal point in the quotient at the same place as it is there in the numerator that is in the dividend so it was there was one digit after the decimal point so the 31 became 3.1 that is one digit here also so there are just three steps denominator has a decimal point first make it a whole number second step do a normal division just like a normal numbers and and then third step add the decimal point in the final answer in the quotient at the same place as the numerator so that's all for now children enjoy the decimal division keep practicing bye bye